I'm at one of my collection sites. It's March. Uh, and what I'm collecting today is Salix Exiga and uh, Salix Lasiandra. What I look for is uh, straight cuttings. And what I do is I trim them off. I put them in the bucket. And I try and cut them all at the same height so they're pretty uniform. Some of these you don't have to trim, which is nice. I can usually get a couple of good cuttings off of one shaft when I'm collecting uh, Salix Exica or Sandbar Willow. So uh, collection time is cut by probably 80% because they're so abundant in straight shafts. But you don't want to plant a monoculture, so you've got to mix up the varieties of uh, Salix willow. Also, I plant uh, red osier dogwood um, and uh, poplar aspen. Wolf Willow. Anything that's deciduous and growing along streams in the area, you want to stick to that uh, variety that's in the watershed. Some of these, you can see the bottom shows that it's a dead limb, so you just chuck that. Most of the time I can tell by visually by looking at them whether they're dead or not, but sometimes they get a little carried away. Each one of these buckets will contain up to 200 cuttings if they're jammed in there pretty tight and uh, the average is around 160 170 so uh, I used to count them individually after each collection but now I just uh, estimate them and I prepare my hundred plant bundles and any excess I just plant it so What I don't do is, I don't waste anything. If I cut a long cutting, oh, that one's dead. And uh, the top of it is a fairly thin shaft. I won't count it as a plant, but I won't throw it away. I'll still attempt to, uh, well, not attempt, I'll still plant it. But the uh, smaller diameter plants, don't have quite the survival rate that uh, larger diameter plants do.